Hey, so I'm trying something. So hopefully, like, rock with me. Ignore the background. I'm in my car. But I really, really, really needed to get this out. And I don't feel like going through and setting up all the stuff and trying to figure out how to make it work and how to say it. I'm going to say it the way it comes to me, yo. Um, praying, man. Praying is essential. Like, it's, it's so important. It's so, it's so very important. And it's so absolutely instrumental to the success or failure of your life of your week your day of every decision you make you got to consult God on it and we spend a lot of time talking about praying and praying and praying and how to hear from God and how to understand what's happening and listening and waiting for God to give you instruction and for whatever reason I always struggle with that I had a really really hard time and I just want to tell you some things that I've learned over the last couple of years. Uh, my prayer life has changed so much in the last couple of years. I've just been through so much. And at times I was like, God, I don't even want to talk to you because you telling me something I don't want to hear. Or God, I'm praying and I'm praying and you won't answer me. You won't give me what I'm looking for. You won't respond. You won't tell me anything. And like I was so fed up and my faith was on the line. And so I do it, you know, I do, I ask my mama, that's what you do, you don't know what to do, you call your mama, you call your daddy, I ask pastors and friends, I talk to my husband, I went and I talked to a whole lot of people about a whole lot of things, and I kept asking, hey, like, God is not responding, like, I am struggling, oh, pray, and when you pray, pray God's word back to him, and I was like, that's dumb, why well, I'm gonna pray God's word back to him, don't he know what he said, don't he know what he promised me? Pray back God's promises. Doesn't he know what he told me? And I'm praying, but I'm praying. I'm, I feel like I feel like my words were falling to the floor. I couldn't I couldn't get them to the ceiling of my own house. It was just hitting the floor. It was just falling out of my mouth and hitting the floor. And I was frustrated and I was ready to give up. And as I was praying, God, I need help. I can't do this. I'm tired. I'm frustrated. My heart was breaking at the time. I was, I, I was walking through the decline of my son's health. Following that, I had to walk through my son passing. I had to walk through my grief. I had to manage the grief for my other children. I still had bills to pay and a job to go to. I had so much going on. I was like, God, I'm just out here by myself. And I don't even understand. They're telling me to pray your word back to you. And when I go to pray and I go to say these things, they sound silly because I don't speak this language. This isn't what I say. And I really had to learn that the majority of the Bible is a series of conversations, a series of stories, anecdotes. It's what happened to people and the way they responded to things. And if I was going to pray God's word back to him, I couldn't just pray. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It's important to pray it when you need strength. It's important to tell yourself those things. But I felt foolish telling God I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me when I feel like Christ ain't on my side. Sometimes I had to learn to pray back the situations in the Bible. God, Gideon tested you. And he said, let the wool be wet and the ground be dry in the morning. And then he came back and was like, let me test you one more time just in case that was a fluke. Let the, let the ground be wet, but the wool be dry this time. And I said, God, I'm testing you. Give me peace when I wake up in the morning, if you're with me. No matter what I have to face, give me your peace. I'm testing you, God. And so when I would pray, I began to pray the way people responded. God, I am asking for an impossible miracle. And I want you to bless me so greatly, I'm going to laugh at it. Because clearly my mind can't comprehend. Sarah laughed when she, when she was told that she was going to have a baby. And so I want to laugh when they tell me what's coming. Give me something so big, I'm going to laugh when they tell me it's coming. Because clearly, that's they're crazy. That's not happening. Pray back the situations in the Bible. At one point, when my son was really, really close to passing, right before, I had to pray 
God, you had to watch your son die. When Christ went to the cross, when Jesus went on that cross, God was in heaven watching his son die. And I know his heart broke. And I said, I need you to help me. I prayed his word back to him. I said, Jesus, you had to die. You had to separate from your father and bear our sins. And you had to hold that. So I need you to help my son. I can't tell him what to do here because I ain't never done this. But you have. And that's how we got to pray the word back sometimes. Sometimes we're going to say, I'm going to lean not to my own understanding. And sometimes we're going to say, God, I'm calling out to you in the way that Noah used to invoke your name. I am, I am walking with you and holding conversations and expecting an answer the way Abraham walked with you. Lord, I am saying I did the work. I made this right. And I'm asking you to stand up and honor me in the way you honored Jacob. When he had worked for both of those wives and he put all them years into Laban, that you responded to him. And you gave him the promise that he was supposed to have without the tricks. I want us to read a story and pray it back. God, you created light before the sun was ever in the sky. You created light without needing the sun. So God, I need you to have some lights in this house. I don't want to have to rely on the sunlight. I want some lights in my house. I'm not going to stress and worry about these bills because these bills are earthly and you, God, are heavenly and you're not bound by this. So you can do what I need you to do. When we pray, have a conversation with God. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be fancy. Oh, Father God, glory to your name in the highest. If that's the prayer that you have, pray that. But if your prayer is, God, I don't have no more. I don't know what else to do. I need you. Pray that prayer. If your prayer is, get them, Lord. For I do. <laughs> pray that prayer. Sometimes you're going to pray back the word. Sometimes you're going to pray back what was in the word. Pray back what you took out of what you read. And walk with that. Be blessed.